Hey gang, it's your old pals, Uncle Hank and Kippy. Just want to thank you for tuning in to Are You Garbage? Yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episode as they come out. And you can also go to gasdigitalnetwork.com, use promo code AYG to get bonus content and get the episodes before they come out and HD streaming. Do it. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, baby. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage, the show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're absolute trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day here, Gash Digital Studios in the big studio in the East Village. The tornado came through. We're still fucking standing. This goddamn universe can't take us out no matter what they throw at us. Coming at you from right next to me, my good pal. All right? He's the guy who fucking cooks the books in this operation. He crosses the T's. He dots the I's. He's an idea man, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you something, folks. The next time you're reaching for a best pal, you know the drill. You make it a fucking kippy. All right? <laughs> Two six-packs for the fucking price of one. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan, everybody. <laughs> hey, gang. What's up? That intro uh, keeps coming back like fucking herpes, man. Jesus Christ. Happy the kids to, love it. The kid, the kid, the internet is chattering about grabbing themselves a kippy. Uh, happy to be here, everybody. Uh, some quick fucking business before we get started. Please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Yes, sir. Uh, full video available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. Mm -hmm. And also... Um, the most rif the most recent 15 episodes of the show are available on iTunes, on every platform, wherever you get right. uh, podcasts. But the full library of our show is available on gasdigitalnetwork.com. Which you could sign up for. Using promo code AYG. Save a buck 50. Save, I think it's two, I don't even know. Two fifty. Don't, I don't know, and I'm not a numbers guy. But Pull we it get, back, we gotta make some money here. We get to wet our beak a little bit, you know what I mean? That's what we're talking about. And the people we have on Gas Digital Network, we have fucking Mark Norman, Joe List, Paul Verzi, Bobby Kelly, yeah. Andrew Schultz, Shane Gillis, mm -hmm. fucking Matt McCusker. We got the fucking murderer's row, so yeah. go check it out. Sign up for a month and then fucking cancel it. I don't care. That's it. That's all you got? So like, all I got, I just fucking would give a four-minute <laughs> sales pitch on a comedy podcast. Plug the website, will you? Here we go. Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest here with us today. He is the co-host of KFC Radio on Ooh. fucking Bar, Stool, Sports. Ever heard of it? The number four guy on the fucking website when you're scrolling down. All right. He's a young, good-looking kid. He's got a little five o'clock shadow going. I think that's his office. Word on the street, he's got a pretty decent piece. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give us a nice big round of applause for Mr. John Feidelberg, hey. everybody. Yeah. This is not my office. This is my roommate's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> he was my late on the rent. <laughs> <laughs> I am currently in a bus station right now. Uh, John, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. I'm so incredibly nervous for this. I, I Why? Can't tell you. I just showered. I just showered before doing this because I really don't want to be nervous. You could have took the towel off the door, <laughs> goddammit. Look at that. Clean that fucking place up, will you? Jesus, if your parents came, they'd have a heart attack. Look at that. That is a fucking single guy's bedroom right there. What is that oh, right God. right behind you to your over your right shoulder? Is that some kind of tenactin? No, the other no, way. Yeah, your other yeah, your other right. On the shelf, there's like a bottle that looks like whipped cream, but somebody's doing whip it. Is that fucking tough actin' tenactin? Dry shampoo. Not mine. Again, not my room. <laughs> dry a dude shampoo. with dry shampoo? That's fucking Dry awesome. shampoo and, and, uh, and more dry shampoo. A lot of dry shampoo in here. Ah, you, you, guys, you guys aren't a shower household over there. I like it. <laughs> your roommate's into the self-care. I like it. That's a fucking point in your direction. Um, so, John, take us back. I want to hear the origin story, where you grew up, how you grew up, brothers, sisters, the whole nine yards. Lay it on us, brother. Oh, boy. Um, okay, I grew up on uh, Fall River, Massachusetts. It is nice. uh, most famous for um, probably Lizzie Borden who uh, she murdered her father. Uh, Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her father 40 racks, 
when she saw what she had done, she gave her mother 41, I believe is how the uh, the wow. phrase goes. What is that, a nursery uh, rhyme that you had when you were a kid? That's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the kids at Fall River in line, I'll tell you that. Holy shit. And then shit. I guess my second would be Chris Heron, um, who uh, you know had a little little issue with heroin in the NBA. Yeah. Uh, hell ah. of a guy. Great, great guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I have uh, one brother, two sisters. Had to think about that. One brother, two sisters. Typical, typical suburban childhood growing up. What, what's what's Fall River like? Uh, Fall River again. It's not great. Um, it's a former <laughs> mill town. It was. It was in the in probably in the. Uh, I don't know what year to be honest. But it was. It was a big town for a while, and then uh-huh. mills out of business. We shipped them all over to China, and so now it's pretty decrepit, pretty awful. Um, but uh, 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 actually, you know what? Just recently, our mayor was. Uh, kicked out of office because he uh, was stealing, <laughs> stealing tons of money. Uh, he, was, he was a huge embezzlement, big, uh, big documentary coming out about that. Too. Yeah. It's that's not a, a po- great spot. That's good points. As far as I'm concerned, I love a little embezzlement. <laughs> I love how the mayor's like, this town sucks. I'm taking whatever else it's got. If, if you don't get in the local he's government, like start embezzling. How what? much? It's, it, he's, I, I don't know exactly how old he is, but he's younger than me. He's like very, very young. It's, he was like thought of as like this wonder kid, and uh, he's turns out he was just stealing everything. Dude, that's fucking oh, that's fantastic! Fucking awesome. Yeah. How else, dude? If you became mayor in your twenties, yeah. I would have burnt the place to the fucking ground. He's dude, you're lucky. Like, all he did was steal. It's like real life fucking Ice Town from uh, Parks and Rec. Yeah, like it's exactly what happened. He just embezzled tons of fucking money. <laughs> it was like it was with um. He was doing it all with like the weed companies too, because it was like, oh, you want a license? Guess what? Give me fifty grand. He had oh god, this guy's the best. Who has the like, fucking balls like, for that, dude? He woke up in the morning and was just like, "What crimes am I doing today?" <laughs> he has a he's a mayor of a of a lower tier city in Massachusetts <laughs> and drove like a Mercedes S class. Had like a fucking Batman Rolex, mm-hmm. which like that's big money. And if you are if you are making a custom Rolex with a Batman logo on it, you're too young to be mayor. Yes, yeah. You're too young to have a Rolex, I'll tell you that much. You shouldn't have a fuck you shouldn't have a cartoon Rolex. Yeah, that's pretty fucking lame. You show up with the fucking Mickey Mouse Rolex. What a perfect Take a fucking yeah. hike. 20 20 something year old thing to do. It's like, ah fuck it, I'll get the Corvette, I'll get the Rolex. I mean when you think about it though, I know like when I was when I was in my early twenties, that's when I was getting like my first credit cards. And I was totally fiscally irresponsible. Still paying so those things. So that's just like off. on a larger scale. Instead of just fucking blowing through his fucking mom's capital one card, he blew through the fucking city budget for a couple of years i'll tell you what congratulations to you for getting a credit card in your early 20s i like got one last year for the first time i'm 30 really dude i it took me I a just, lot it took card. me a while to crawl out of it now the funniest thing about me is i currently have a 500 hour credit limit that's all they'll give me <laughs> doesn't matter how much i pay when i pay i go on the app like every couple of weeks and just try to apply for more credit and they're like now nah, unfortunately at this time you are still a fucking huge loser because I had a couple of credit cards when I was in college and just zero concept of ever even remotely paying it back. Dude, you know what happened to me, which fucked me? My parents got me one of those like emergency credit cards. Oh yeah. And I and I used it not as emergencies ever. And then my mom was like, Oh yeah, well, we're not paying that. So I had like <laughs> thousands of dollars in debt. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking brutal. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Mom playing hard. Dude, you buy a case me. of beer with one of those credit, you end up paying. After you pay it off, it costs you like four thousand dollars for I a know. case of beer. After all the interest and penalties and shit, I had. Uh, I used to work at Macy's when I was in college, and in order to get the store discount, the twenty percent discount, you had to put it on a Macy's credit card. So I was in college with a fucking with a credit card. I would just that I wouldn't even do laundry. I would just go buy new socks and underwear <laughs> to wear out that night. You know what I mean? Like a fucking jerk off. I just settled Dude, settled thought, up with them a couple of months ago. <laughs> I saw that clip of you uh, on Twitter when you oh. were talking about when you were you were running the gamut there, letting everyone return. I just whatever. used to let everybody steal shit. Yeah, That's I worked funny. at GNC in college, and I would have friends come in and buy stuff just so they would re- so they could come back and return it, so I could get it for free. <laughs> so like, That's a real. Like, That's real dirtball shit. Dude, there's not, not there's not many people that we talk to on here 
that didn't have some kind of scam or a hustle uh-huh. with either their high school or their college job. Yeah, dude, for sure. All right, this guy was moving fucking Nikes out of the back. My- You're fucking <laughs> selling stacker twos on fucking cost. <laughs> Dude, All right. we used to. I used to work at a Hess gas station, and we had, we had some. We had, <laughs> Hess gas station. That's not even a top of the line fucking petroleum company. You jerk off. We got the trucks. That's pretty good. Christmas time, they're all lining up. Give me a Sunoco, an Exxon. Nah, that's fucking Euro trash. You don't want that. <laughs> but we used to do this thing with the with the premium gas. You have a coupon. I mean, that's all it was. It was like we were fucking in Goodfellas in fucking college and high school. <laughs> Dude, we had uh, my buddy worked at a Foot Locker in the mall, and he would run a two for seventy deal where you would, you would give him seventy dollars cash, and he would just pocket the fucking money, and you could get any two pair of shoes. You just couldn't get Tim's or Jordans because they had their own inventory system. Like those were like extra. Really? They, those had like a secondary checks and balances system. <laughs> so, dude, we would just go in, and he would make like fucking you know like three grand in a night. That is, that's the best one I've heard. Yeah, that's it was the best good. record. Good. Oh, they all went down. Like, oh, like a lot of people left there with fucking criminal fucking backgrounds. <laughs> that's too funny. All right, so you worked at GNC. That gives us a little bit of a picture. We get a little picture of the town. Uh, so what's going to happen now, John? Is Kevin and I are going to ask you a series of questions mm-hmm. regarding your childhood, how you live now. We'd like you to answer them open and honestly. <laughs> and if they spur any stories, please feel free. I'd like to believe that from the the gas station scam and the fucking pump and dunk at Macy's, you realize that you're talking to two dirt bags and that you are in good company. Yes, I, so I, do I not absolutely. Wa- I do, do, I saw do not that worry. Could be perfect. <laughs> you are under oath. I may remind you, Mr. Feidelberg. You don't plan on running for senator or anything like that, do you? No, dude, that one went out the window a long time <laughs> yeah, ago. Nice. Dude, I didn't. I didn't make it past ten. I was no way. I was running for senate. Who was the guy that just got the Supreme Court that they were when they were grilling? Remember, he was like, off. Yeah, like beer. Hey, he's like, we like beer. We we drank beer. I did have a couple of beers. I had some beers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's start out with something simple. Uh, now there's two there's a there's a couple different kinds of garbage, okay? We're more of a lighthearted garbage. Um okay. and we don't believe that garbage has to do with whether you grew up poor, you grew up rich. None of that has really to do with it. It's just like the inherent things that are in you from your upbringing and your family. Um but I guess number one would be what was the name of the street that you grew up on? I got a good one. Highland Avenue. Ooh. Ooh. Avenues are pretty Ooh. tough in the suburbs. That's classy. I like that. <laughs> Hi, I grew up on a Highland Drive for a little while. We a drive, like, yeah. We Drives felt like are nice. I it's actually the like honestly, it's I don't think I'm garbage. I'm gonna put that out there real okay. quick. Okay, I don't think I am. I hope I'm not. But it is like the one street in the entire town that's like kind of nice. It's okay. a, like okay. it is it is the the top of the heap, I suppose. Okay, is what you would call it. All right. That's where, like the, that's where like the foreman from the mills would live back in the right, day. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 The guy who has had like child labor. They <laughs> <lived in these. laughs> I worked my way up, huh? <laughs> now I'm cracking heads. See? All right. Uh, let's do a standard here. This is a big one on Are You Garbage? Uh, single family home, I presume? Single family home, yes. Okay. Do you have a garage? Oh, yeah. Did you have, was there a refrigerator in that garage? Mini fridge upstairs, so that it's a two car garage, and then upstairs is kind of like a living room man cave situation. Okay, and what? there's a mini fridge in there. Oh, wow, was it a detached nice. garage or part of the, the structure? Detached, Ooh, Ooh. detached is some clean fucking living. Why didn't you make that your room? I would have pushed to have that as my room in high school. No, because it was like it's where it was basically the hookup spot, so you couldn't yeah. make it your room. It was like, that's where I hooked up. That's where my brother hooked up. That's where anyone, I, I imagine probably my sisters too. I don't know. I've never spoken to them about it. Uh-huh. But no, this garage, okay, here's a story for it. <laughs> this garage. What I would do, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what I would do after I hooked up in the garage is like an adult, I would like take my condom, I'd put it in a Gatorade bottle, and I'd <laughs> twist that off, and then I'd, I'd throw it away. It's cool the next day. Oh, that's fuck, my- that's an A plus move right there. Why? Who's your mom? Right. Fucking Law and Order SVU? <laughs> Was she looking through the trash? Yeah. I better oh, not man, find any of your fucking rubbers up there, John. <laughs> my Johnny's a good boy, but God, does he drink a lot of Gatorade? <laughs> I'll tell you that. Most hydrated kid in school. 
<laughs> but my brother, he would open the window and he would just throw his condom out it. And, and so one day, one day my dad was shoveling the front yard or shoveling the, the sidewalk up front. And the neighbor comes over, and he's like, "John, I gotta talk to you." My dad's like, "My dad's like, what's up?" He's like, "You gotta tell your kids to stop throwing condoms in my yard." And my dad's like, what are you talking about? And he goes, "Come with me." And he just had a fucking rubber sitting on his windshield. Oh, <laughs> dude, dude, the fuck. fucking listen. I'm a scumbag. I pick my butt, pick my nose, pick my teeth. The fucking use prophylactic is the fucking most disgusting thing in the world. Dude, a rubber out the window is something else. That is a next level fucking garbage move. And I thought close. Like he was taking a crow hop to throw it. Like I don't I don't understand how <laughs> what kind of load he was doing. But like it's a good throw. It's yeah. it's far to get people out there. Jesus. I thought you were going to say the neighbor came over to tell your daddy he thinks your mom's cheating on him. Like, hey, I'm finding all these condoms. I don't know what Diane's doing when you're at work, but. Dude, that's awesome. The fucking spot above the garage. I like that. That's like what every yeah. kid wanted. That's, yeah. Like a, oh, yeah. that's like a clubhouse. Yeah. Put a fucking fireman's pole in that thing, slide uh, down. So you know what we were getting at with the second refrigerator. What was in the, the college boy fridge upstairs? Just sodas and beers? Chocolate. Coors Lights. That's it. That's all. That's, that's all my dad. Awesome. Labala de Plata. Yeah. So Gotta that's what, love them. That's what we on all your garbage would refer to as the garage fridge. That's a big staple of suburban life. You had to have a fucking shitty fridge that was stacked with fucking Miller Lights or fucking Coors Lights and fucking Capri Suns and ice pops and fucking ice cream sandwiches for the kids. My dad left them all. He didn't put beers in the house. He just left them out there because he said he liked like having to get up to go. I, I think it was. It, it, it quelled his drinking a little bit, mm -hmm. but he's like, right. I liked having to, to go far to get a beer yeah. because if they were too close, he would drink too many. Now, did you guys, did he know that you guys were fucking in there fucking crushing them left and right? Yeah. 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 He, he, he called it, uh, this, I didn't know this until I was older, but he called it like John's Love Palace. <laughs> is what he called it. <laughs> I thought I was being sneaky about it. Like, I thought they had no idea I was fucking in there. They definitely knew. They yeah. were 100% positive. And yeah. would they ever would they ever fuck with you? If they knew you were up there with a the girl, would they come and like, John, would they bang on the door? Mm. Or, or it was pretty respectful. No. Ah, that's see, that's very, fucking, very respectful. That's awesome. Dude, I used to have to hook up with my high school girlfriend in her living room with her parents, like right up at the top of the steps sleeping. It was fucking nerve-wracking. Yeah. I mean, we played a fast and loose on Bluebell. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but still, to have a fucking separate fucking with a door, you'd have a little bit of fucking warning, even if you heard somebody coming. That's clean living yeah, right I, there. Well, the girl I dated in high school didn't have such a thing. And one time I got, like, like classic high school stuff. Like, I got a hand job under the blanket. Mm -hmm. Didn't even take my dick out of my sweatpants while her mm. parents were sitting right next to that was that's, what? that's awesome. <laughs> One of the better orgasms I've had in my oh, life. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. Dude, you're fucking walking a tight rope right there, too. <laughs> John, how's the spaghetti? It's really good, Mrs. Maloney. I just love this movie so much. <laughs> we watched fucking Avatar. Ooh, that movie sucks, that, by the way. Yeah, but I kinda I was kind of attracted to that big blue broad up there. Yeah, she was all right. That's good getting hand jobs fucking during Avatar. I got news for you, my friend. That's pretty fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. And the Gatorade <laughs> bottle ain't helping you either. <laughs> oh, that's good Sorry, stuff. Well, bitch. Don't want to be garbage. <laughs> what you what was the name of the grocery store that your mom went to growing up? Shaw's. Shaw's. That sounds shitty. I don't I've never it heard does. of the Shaw's. You gotta elaborate I, I, a little bit. Compare it to something. Uh, it's basically stop and shop. Okay, uh, stop and shop. All right. I believe the Shaw's is now a stop and shop, but gotcha. I, I think it's a Massachusetts chain. I'm not positive, um, but it's now a stop and shop. Okay. And you don't really have the accent too bad. Did you work on that, or is it just Fall River doesn't really have the strong accent? I wouldn't say I worked on it. I went to boarding school. I went to high school in Rhode Island. Okay. Um, so there, I kind of lost a little bit. Gotcha. Wait, how were you finger banging the girls if you went to boarding school? I didn't, I didn't board there. I, I was a day student, but it was gotcha. a boarding school. Wait, you were that close to Rhode Island that you could you could go back and forth? Yeah, it's only like 15 minutes. It's like Fall River is like the last town in Massachusetts before Rhode Island. Mm, that sounds pretty nice. Boarding school. All right. I like that. 
Mm-hmm. I like that. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty good. <sighs> All right, I got one. Hit Speaking em. of movies a little bit, how many of the Fast and Furious movies have you seen? Bonus <laughs> points if it was in the theaters. I've seen... Oh, actually, no, it's a lie. You're fucking garbage. Seen, what are you talking I about? Have, I have not seen Tokyo Drift. I refuse to watch it. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking American, okay? <laughs> I'm not watching some fucking Toyota zip around fucking Seoul, Korea. I'll tell you that. No, no Paul Walker, no Dominic Toretto. No, thank you. Yes. But I have seen all of the other ones. I love them dearly. <laughs> that's and not, that's seen... not looking good for you, John. <laughs> Dude, I I stood up and clapped. Oh. After, uh, <laughs> that's that's period seven. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Uh, Was uh. this a vocational boarding school that you went yeah. to? You learning how to be a fucking plumber? <laughs> Some HVAC boarding school in Rhode Island. I think I think it's the greatest movie franchise of all time. What? Oh, oh my I'll, God! I'm, I agree. Sheer number wise, it's fucking a huge success. Yeah. I mean, they're good. They're okay movies for what they're good movies for what they are, for sure. They're but, great movies for what they are. <laughs> yeah. But if you like them, you're trash, for sure. The Kennedys don't watch the fucking Fast and Furious movies, I'll tell you that much. Under the radar, though, they have made a lot of fucking money on those movies. Yeah, dude. Billion. And, and you know what? No, they're not respected enough. Oh, boy. We got to clear it out. <laughs> Yo, this they're, came, they're you like came in here so hard saying, I'm not garbage. I'm not garbage. And now you're giving us a fucking 12-star review of fucking <laughs> Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Holy great. shit. They're, and and I, I, they're all well-reviewed like by critics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other dirtbags. That's a good movie. <laughs> And the acting and the cinematography. Oh my god! Oh, all right, that's fucking funny. I think we got him. Yeah, we think got, we, we got, got, got you got on the pegged. fucking ropes now. <laughs> you better play piano or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got street grocery store. Let me ask you this, Mister Feidelberg. How do you feel about the McDonald's menu option known as the filet? Oh, fish. He likes it. He fucking likes it. I don't order them. I was forced. (laughs) I've I've never had one probably until about a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. And someone made me try it. Pretty good. (laughs) 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 But it was it was. It was shockingly palatable. I was like, right. It's the best thing on the menu. Shout out to the all the boys making those fillet of fishes out there today. We love you. <laughs> All That's right. Great. Hmm. Let's see. All right. I got one. This is what this is one we've we've done a while ago. Um out of the following jerseys, a uh, football, basketball, baseball, or hockey, what is the classiest one to wear? Like if you had to wear one to a wedding, what one would you choose? <laughs> All right. I am I'm not a jersey guy. Okay. I, I don't think I own a jersey. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a uh, – no, that's a lie. I have a few jerseys. But, like, I'd never wear one to a game or anything like that. I'm with but you if on I that. Had, if I had to choose one, <laughs> God, <laughs> fucking hard. Uh, I would get I, – honestly, I guess sleeves are a huge deal. So you got to go hockey. Yeah. That, if you're uh, going to wear it to a wedding, you got to have the full arm cover. You can't go up there and tank top <laughs> it like that. Yeah, hockey's, gotta, the, cra- gotta, hockey's yeah. the less trashy. Hockey, the well, this is a toss-up. I think Schultz said to hockey. Hockey, I I went hockey because it's also it's also considered a sweater, which is a dress or a dress article of clothing. True. You know what I mean? You put on a sweater True. to go get pictures. Take you're you're at least in a sweater, not a nice one, but you're in a fucking sweater. But Schultz yeah, it, said, it's oh, it's popular that hockey play, that people call it a sweater. It it is by no means a sweater. <laughs> no, not even, know, not even close. <laughs> Dude, I was actually tweeting today. There was an old clip of uh, the Maurice the Rocket Richard. He was born 99 years ago today. So the NHL tweeted out some old clip. It's insane that back when they were wearing sweaters, goalies just didn't have a mask on. Oh, That's yeah. One of the most. I don't think we appreciate that as a society. <laughs> I know. That that people was... stood in net and had pucks fired at them, and they did nothing cover their face. 
That shit's nuts. Hockey blows my mind even today with the equipment that they do have. That you're a fucking standing there as a grown man with nothing protecting your fist, punching another grown man while he's wearing a helmet. That fucking blows my mind. Yeah, dude. How insane you have to be to do that. And then you give you five minute penalty. Like yeah, every yeah. other sport, you kick out. You're done. Which Game is over. long. Which every hockey fan will agree. Like fucking five minutes, dude. <laughs> like you know, like five minutes is a long penalty. That's in for bashing a man's skull in. Dude, hockey players play it fast and loose, and I fucking love it. Johnny, what was your first car, buddy? Uh, Land Rover Discovery. Ooh, nice. Very okay. nice. Yeah. Did you did you Please. put? Go ahead. I was gonna say it was awful. I hated it. Really? It was like it it broke down every day I started that car. It was like <laughs> like a single mom who's working two jobs. Like I just hope this starts today. I hope this starts today. Like come on, come on. Yeah, it was a piece of shit. But it was dope too. Yeah, it's a dope car. Was there yeah, any so much car boy in there? Was there any aftermarket? products put in the car once you got it did you put a new stereo subwoofer did you get some head rims? unit or something had it had a stereo in it um no, no subwoofers nothing in the back or anything like that but yeah okay. we, we, we popped a new not, not sound system but new cd player yeah, yeah yeah that's respectable all that in the car was a hand-me-down it was a, it was a somebody else's car and you got it no no i bought i bought it used uh, yeah you bought it used it was, yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like a hand me down like from like my parents. No, no, no. I got no. you. Yeah, no, that see that's all respectable. There you go. So that's that's some points working their way out of garbage. That's nice. Yeah, right getting there. out of the fast and furious hole. You're getting out of the you're getting out of the game. I would have pay I would have paid you for like a fucking black Honda Civic lowered or something. Yeah. <laughs> so you could go under a tractor trailer on ninety five. <laughs> With a Von then- Dutch hat on sideways. <laughs> my, my second car was a, a Buick uh, LeSabre, I think, Ooh. which is my grandfather's, which had, uh, uh, they call him a suicide, uh, suicide the, knob. The handle, I think yeah, true. yeah, yeah. He lost his hand, so he only had one hand. So I had that thing. I was fucking, that ah. car was 10 billion times better than Land Rover. That car was fucking sick. Whipping work with the fucking suicide That's knob. pretty fucking sweet, man. Yeah, my buddy put, my, my buddy's a fucking whack job. He put one on his car like <laughs> three years ago just to fucking do it. There's something about that feeling, even when you're leaning back in a car and you're just making that turn where you're fucking using the one hand and the palm of your hand, you feel like a million bucks. Dude, and the <laughs> car to do that is a fucking Buick. Those things are yeah. big fucking grandpa cars. <laughs> That car had the best heating or cooling of any car I've ever been in my life. I think it's because old people will die. Sure, they yeah, they got yeah, dude, they got to keep them cold, dude. Yeah, I, it was like the second you get in the car, freezing. It was beautiful. Yeah. My best childhood memories is either being in my parents' car or my uncle's car. It would be a fucking big sedan, just exactly what you're talking about. Maybe a company car, and there'd be that faint smell of cigarette smoke, and the AC would be at, like, 22. <laughs> and you'd be in the fucking back while some baseball game or news radio is on, just fucking just Dude, out cold. Some baseball game that is... Coming in and out of service. Oh, that was the no fucking one. worst. Parents love just fighting through static. It they was did. insane. Dude, yeah. They just like they just sit there, grip the wheel harder, and just do like <laughs> deal with the static. Like it a made the asshole. game more exciting. You're like, you if something big was going on, it was going in and out, you'd be like, Are we gonna hear it? Are we gonna hear it? Are we gonna hear it? Dude, imagine listening That's to it. Like, point. imagine now listening to a static radio a, a fucking four hour baseball game <laughs> through static. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Okay. That's how much the parents hated the sound of your voice. Yeah, no, yeah. Fuck it. We'll, we'll turn up the static. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I got one. Uh, have you ever used the phrases "It's five o'clock somewhere" or "It's beer 30? Uh definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever. I don't know if I did. Uh, it's five o'clock somewhere, but beer thirty. For sure. Yeah. In fact, I went through a phase in college where that was the only beer I would buy. Did you know there was a beer called Beer Thirty? No it's way. A, it was a it was a purple thirty rack, and it was called Beer Thirty. And I thought it was the funniest, coolest thing in the world. That's uh, fucking just... awesome. That's fucking. <laughs> that's uh, that ain't too bad, dude. It's garbage. <laughs> Wait, that was the beer brand? Was it's Beer Thirty? That was the, that was the brand, Beer Thirty. I'm, I'm, so, real I'm so jealous. I've never even heard of this. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. My stepdad's a big beer 30 guy. Every time he cracks one, hey, what time is it? <laughs> beer 30. 
<laughs> you, it's actually worse than I remember how bad it looks. It looks <laughs> like a purple can. Purple can is yeah. pretty shitty. That's like toilet bowl cleaner comes yeah. in purple cans. Uh, let's... It is, it is, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, please. What were you going to say? I was just going to say something stupid. I was going to say <laughs> that's what the whole podcast is. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, welcome please to the show. Say everything stupid. That's what we want. When was the last time you, Mr. John Feidelberg, or have you ever puked in an Uber? Honestly, no. Okay. I'm not a big puker. I'm a peer. I'll, oh. I'll piss myself. No problem. That's even but worse, I, I feel. Wait, oh, piss yourself wait. when you're sleeping? Yeah. That night? Yeah, I don't get up. Do you know some people like get up and like piss in the corner? Yeah. I don't do that. I just piss the bed. Wow. But, um... I probably I did it pretty recently, but before that, it hadn't it hadn't been in a long time. Like I like let's just let's be honest here. I pissed myself two weeks ago. Um, <laughs> what was in, the event? Well, were you were you in bed with somebody? Yes, my girlfriend was in bed with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fucking awesome. That's- with, I I, <laughs> I used to piss myself so often <laughs> that I devised a plan for how to cover it up. Where Jeez. I would like, if I woke up first and I'd piss the bed, I'd go get like a water bottle like this and I'd take the cap off and I would just tip it over. I would, they, so there wasn't water in it, but I would just like, when a girl woke up, I'd be like, oh, I must have forgot to put the cap on the water bottle last night. Sorry, I spilled my <laughs> slightly yellow, <laughs> pea smelling Deer Park water bottle. I apologize. Hey, lady, you got to change your Brita filter, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a hose Something's that. wrong with the pipes in this. Was this building pre-war? What the oh, fuck? What is this? A fucking Dasani? What's going on here? I need a bowl and spring, dude. That's fucking genius. That's a garbage yeah. move. <laughs> oh, it's a big garbage. <laughs> that's a big piece of trash move, dude. I'm sorry. That's a tough one to come back. If you pee the bed, just say, "Hey, hey, sorry, I pissed myself." But to devise a plan of finding an empty water bottle, fake dumb. <laughs> then he like he's like, you know, he's she's sleeping. He's like trying to elbow her to wake her up a little bit. They're like, ah, ah. He's like stretching too much and stuff to try to wake her up. Be like, ah, oh, did you spill this bottle? This guy came oh. on here fucking so defensive. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not going to tell you right now. Let me tell you what I do when I shit in the bed. <laughs> That's fucking genius, man. I love that. Yeah, and you know, it's I funny. I like full on fights with like girls and being like, no, you pissed the bed, knowing full oh, well I pissed the bed. Oh, Just like Christ, dude. relationship ending arguments about who pissed in the bed, knowing it was me. Dude, you fucking deny it till the end. I don't oh, care what it yeah. is. I don't care if the feds are closing in on you. <laughs> you were with your kids all night. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> Fuck that. But that's an interesting thing you bring up. And there is some kind of psychology because there really is. There's three different people. There's the pukers. All right. There's the people who pee the bed. And then there's that weird fucking group, which I'm kind of in. Or I know it happened to me once. Is the fucking they go and pee somewhere weird in the middle of the well, night? Well, they pee in the somewhere house. that they think it's a toilet. I know, but that's such right. a weird thing. It's always a stationary like, object, like an end table, a TV, the hamper. It's always something. It's always the hamper. Yeah. I one time watched a friend. This is at a high school party. I watched a friend get up. He was sleeping on the couch. There was a girl passed out on the um, on the uh, air mattress. Mm-hmm. I watched him get up. Thinking he was going to the bathroom, and he just directly onto her, oh, and then Jesus. he like he sort of like shook it afterwards. Like yeah. I I've never seen it before. Like witnessing someone thinking they're at a toilet, and like he like shook it and did the whole pee situation, and then just <laughs> laid back down. And somehow she didn't wake up, and telling her in the morning that she was covered in piss uh, was not one no. exercise. Yeah. I was because I was gonna ask you, have you ever witnessed that? Like, have you ever? It's weird when you see your boys doing uh, that. Dude, my buddy did it weekly. We after about twelve course lights, his brain shut down, and he would fall asleep on the couch and get up. He peed on my mom's TV, peed on a table. That's great. I've seen girls do it too. That's even weirder. They will like just squat you see in the a corner. Girl do it? Yeah, I've never seen a girl. His do mom's it. a hell of a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Shout out to Patty, huh? <laughs> Playing it fast and loose. Gargoyle in the corner. <laughs> the gargoyle is a great move. <laughs> the gargoyle. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> we That's to, fucking awesome. I never heard we that. We used to do that. You stand on top of a keg and call it your gargoyle. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking too good. Holy dude, that water bottle trick. That's fucking great. Put that one in the bank. Yeah. That one, it's because, dude, that. you know what? D- lying through your teeth is fucking more, is better than that feeling of when, because I've pissed the bed, when you wake up and like they got to clean it up and it's like the sheets are going in and you're hung over, you just want to get breakfast. That shame is fucking brutal. Oh, it's, it's the worst. People always talk about the shame after you finish watching a porn. Mm-hmm. I never got that. Oh, no. The shame of pissing the bed, though, is, yeah. is a real one. Because you have you have that next morning fucking the hangover, hung, hungover anxiety yeah. already. Waking yeah. up, what did I do? Yeah. Who did, if I if I did that, what the fuck else did I do? <laughs> yeah. Who did I text? What's going on? The the text. I've actually devised multiple plans to deal with my uh, alcoholism. Yeah, um, okay. I'm right there with you, buddy. The morning texts. I'm so good at. Here's a trick, right? You cross your eyes when you open the text message app. <laughs> uh-huh. Cross your eyes, and then you can delete them all without without can, focusing on the words. Without focusing on the words, you can still see the red box, yeah. but you don't have to see the words that you sent. Yep, and it's one of the more genius moves I use. Yeah, aside I, with the uh, definitely the have done that. I like that. That's all about you feeling better. Who also, fuck, the, fuck the person that got the text. The thing, the <laughs> thing yeah. I'm a, I don't know what was that about? Like, I have no idea what you're talking. About. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I didn't have. I don't have. I don't know, but this phone. chick I'm with pissed the bed. <laughs> 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 I got a leaky broad over here. <laughs> the, thing about, the thing about convincing, it's not even about lying that you peed in bed. The fact that you're lying about you not peeing the bed is one thing, but then a byproduct of that lie is convincing this woman that she peed the bed. Yeah. So, like, she's walking out of there like, did I fucking piss? Uh, what am I doing? I got to rethink my... And then, meanwhile, you're just, like, throwing the condom out in a Gatorade bottle no. and hitting a brick. She, she knows full fucking well. I don't know. That Feidelberg is the one that pissed the bed. <laughs> They're just stunned by the fact that, holy shit, this guy's taking it so far, and then they just leave it alone. But they know. They know. Yeah, they, they know. know. They, deep down, they know. <laughs> it's like a 50s marriage. We're going to sweep this under the rug. <laughs> John, would you say that you're a uh, t- just a two part question? Are you a yearly subscription guy or are you month to month? What's your move? Um, for what? Just in general, or let me let me say it this way: Are you a minimum payment guy or are you a remaining balance guy? I'm a minimum payment guy. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm kicking um, the can down the road. I would say, um, I mean, like, I don't really know. I, if there's a yearly option, I'll probably take the yearly option. Like for okay. like, the athletic, subscribe to the athletic. They just charge you yearly, which is great. And then, but then, like Netflix and Hulu, I'm month to month. If if you give me a year option, I'll take You'll a year, take just because I'd rather. Get that's flat rate. smart. That's smart. That's very classy. I'm gonna give that to you right there. Very, that's a that's fucking. Very good. That, that's a gentleman's move. I don't do it because I might I, die I, mid month, and I don't want. I, yeah. I, I don't want them taking the full fifteen. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? I'll, I'll well, see you on the twenty ninth. When I subscribe to porn sites, <laughs> I usually okay. go like three. You usually go what? When I subscribe to porn sites, it's usually like a three month one. Okay, yeah, because you don't want to think you're going to be a creep in six months. Yeah. Right. Right. I'll yeah. do a thing where like, like basically like uh, probably like. I would say it's like semi annual, maybe twice a year. Um, I'll like get drunk and be like, "I'm done with Pornhub. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get a browser subscription." Like okay. I've, I've watched all Pornhub has to offer. Sure. Let's see what's behind the paywall. And then I'll, I'll usually, first of all, it always. I don't know if anyone's here subscribed before. Mm-hmm. It always gets flagged as a, 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 a unusual a charge purchase. on your card. Yeah. <laughs> You will have to talk to Capital One and explain to them. Don't that to me. <laughs> I'm just checking out the new Abella Danger video. Um, and I'm then- doing research. I'm interviewing Sasha Gray this week. I'm doing a little research. <laughs> Cut me some fucking slack. That's funny. I've never. Been, I'm, yeah. I'm surprised you to say that. I'm not. I, do you sign up? I never. I just do the free stuff. If, if if I look at porn, I look at I look at the free stuff. You go all in on subscriptions and everything. Like, like I said, it's it's rare, but it, it probably for like a probably for like two months a year. The month would be separate. Sure. I, I end up like going all in. And I'll tell you what, 
Pretty good guy. <laughs> it's worth it, man. It, it really is. It shows you the things that you're missing that you don't know you're missing. But once you yeah. see it, you're like, well, like Brett. So my, my buddy used to get, uh, he was like really into tech. So he would get us for our birthdays every year. He would give us a password. Like, he would be like, oh, here's this name and password that I found, or so, I don't know. They're all shit. What's going on? But we would get them. And, well, like, Brazzers is like 27 sites or something like that, right? You get, yeah. like, Mill Funner, yeah. you get Gil Funner, you get all, you get the whole fucking gamut. Dude, so sharing a porn site password with your buddies is a dangerous game. Sure. I remember we had one, me, uh, my co-host, Kevin, KFC, and then another kid in the office. We got a Pornhub premium account. And... We were sharing it, and then because you get the like the recommended for you, and then yeah, be like, which is based on you know two weirdos. Whatever. Well, yeah, I'll be like, dude, who was watching just like chubby amateur hand jobs? Like, that, <laughs> like, that was, <laughs> like it was like every morning we'd have like group. Tasking, I don't know like, who's dude, watching, but I'm listening. <laughs> That sounds like an art house film to me. <laughs> Was that in Tribeca? I like that. That's like chubby. I'm age. chubbing up a little bit just hearing that. It was probably you with fucking the Avatar fetish. That's who it probably was. <laughs> fucking sweatpants Feidelberg over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too good. <laughs> okay. All right. And okay. I, I was going to ask you before, but you already answered it. I was going to say, do you call it a laundry basket or a hamper? You call it a hamper, huh? Call it a hamper. That's yeah. garbage, my friend. Big hamper family, too, oh, over here. Big hamper. Yeah. Hamper really? trash. Hampers. I got three of them in my house. Put it in a hamper. <laughs> yeah. Hampers, yeah. I didn't know that. What about this one? Just to follow up on it, do you call it a vacuum or a sweeper? Well, they're two entirely different things. I call it a vacuum. You call it a vacuum. Okay. People yeah. in your family call it a sweeper? Yeah, we don't call it a vacuum. It's called the sweeper. Nuh-uh. My mom just bought a brand my mom just bought a brand new twelve hundred dollar Electrolunx sweeper. That's what they call it. You guys really are mountain people. <laughs> that is f- fucking Sometimes dude, that my, is my dad calls it a the that the, what? A yeah. sweeper. A sweeper or a What's cleaner? he called a car? A driver? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I go get go get in the steering wheel. I've never heard a call a sweeper either. All right. That's good. I'm just telling you that there is an option. You it know is, what? It is garbage, and the gentleman passed the test. He calls it a vacuum cleaner. Gang, just a quick reminder that today's episode is brought to you by the good people at Sheath Underwear. Sheath uses moisture wickening technology to create underwear that keeps everything breathable and incredibly comfortable for you and yours downstairs. Mm -hmm. These guys are the absolute best. I'm wearing them right now, and I fucking love them. She Smart Underwear comes in a number of different styles, including a brief with a dual pouch that makes sure it keeps your balls feeling good, feels like they're floating around on a cloud while you're working out. You can't beat it. Or if you're just walking around on a hot day, you want to have sheath underwear, everybody. It's like an inverted kangaroo pouch for your Joey that keeps your junk from sticking to your legs. Sheath underwear was invented by a soldier while serving in Iraq, where you can imagine the balls tend to get a little hot in the desert. (laughs) He developed a prototype in Iraq, raised money on Kickstarter to launch sheath. Now, who doesn't want to support a veteran? Sheath underwear is absolutely fantastic. And now you can support... Our show. Yeah, it's awesome. I love this stuff. They sent us a whole bunch of pairs. They sent some for the big man. I wear them. Whenever they're clean, I wear them. They're my favorite pair of underwear. They separate the frank and the beans. Sometimes you don't you don't have to use both pockets if you don't want to. It's awesome. So please support our sponsors because our sponsors keep this show going. Support Sheath, and they'll support you when it counts downstairs. Bottom line, Sheath creates amazing underwear, and if you don't love them... They have a 100% money-back guarantee off your first pair, so give it a shot. So go get your new favorite pair of underwear by going to sheathunderwear.com and use code GARBAGE for 20% off your order. They ship anywhere in the world. One more time, that's sheathunderwear.com and use the code GARBAGE for 20% off. Now back to the show. You know what was fucking real class? Um, was my neighbor had one. It was the vacuum system that was throughout the house. You just oh, plug the yeah. tube into the wall, and yeah. it would just saw. I don't know. I didn't know what was going Where on. Where it went. Fucking in the neighbor's yard or something. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen that? Do you know what that is? 
I've seen it, and I think it's actually. I think there was a time it was class, uh -huh. and I think now, I think now it's garbage because now it's like an archaic relic of like the seventies. One hundred percent. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But back in the day, that was like having a dumb waiter or something. That thing <laughs> yeah. was fucking a okay. <laughs> A dumb waiter. I always wanted a dumb waiter in my house. I would have been too scared. Too many horror movies involve a fucking dumb waiter. No bueno. All right, I got one. Have you ever owned a Scarface or Sopranos poster? No. Okay. Definitely no Sopranos. I don't think Scarface. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up 99. No, 100 percent sure. 100 okay. sure. I've never had a Scarface. Poster. Good answer, because that is there is no coming back from that. <laughs> Especially if it doesn't. Have, like, I, I did have like the college, like the John Belushi. Sure, I definitely sure. Definitely had like, two girls in black and white kissing mm -hmm. because, like, that's what you did at that time. Like, lesbians were cool. Like that was hot. Mm -hmm. Like lesbian. Now that, that's you know, if you're watching lesbian porn now, you got a fucking problem. But <laughs> I love it. Like in college, back in the day, that was. I love lesbian porn. Yeah, it's my favorite. No. Oh no way! Really? Yeah, I love Still. It. All right, I'm not a premium gold member at fucking <laughs> U-Porn. I apologize. Cut. I'm a casual shopper. <laughs> I don't know. Anything that I'm not, I love. Two beautiful women going at it, I, you know, I, 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 that turns me on. I don't know why. Hey, I'm not on fucking trial here, by <laughs> yeah. the way. Hold on. <laughs> this kid's grilling me all of a sudden. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Hmm. Have you ever been arrested at a sporting event? Uh no. Ever ran out of putting time out? Putting time out? Yeah. Uh, What's that? At a Patriot game, a, a cop just made me sit Indian style for like ten minutes while he just stood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he thought he would be. Dude, that's the fucking greatest thing I've ever heard in my yeah. life. <laughs> it was, I was trying, I was trying to turn a tailgate into the preakness, and I was just throwing full beers, yeah. and like no one was reciprocating. Sure. And the cop was like, "Hey, sit down. You need you need to time. You're in timeout. You need to relax for a second. And I sat down and just that was it. And That's... I was like, he had like a stopwatch going at ten minutes. He's like, "All right, you can go now." Like, like I, did, the... I did zero sobering up in those ten minutes. But... Ah, that's fucking a funny move. It's like though, putting man. a dunce cap on him. <laughs> yeah. Go sit in a corner, jerk off. He makes you do two laps around the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Sui Feidelberg suicides now. <laughs> Have you ever ran out on the field? Never, no. No? Okay. That's no. good. That's I've been good. Three times, four times, but they were all non stunt sporting events. Okay. Uh, I got speak... arrested for Tom Brady once, but that yeah, wasn't Yeah, Famously. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got arrested for Tom Brady? Yeah, during Deflate Gate, we all handcuffed, uh, me and like three coworkers handcuffed ourselves in the, uh, in the lobby of NFL headquarters demanding to speak to Roger Goodell. Wow. <laughs> Did Brady, I like how you call them really coworkers. They're co-defendants at that yeah. point. Did Brady ever reach out to you? Uh, no. He said, no, wait. Yes, they never reached out personally. But he did. It was like the five-year anniversary of it this year, this past March. Um, and he, like, quote tweeted it and was like, thanks for the support, fellas, or something like that. But he's never actually reached out. I mean, that should be a couple of fucking tickets or a yeah, fucking something. A sweatshirt or something. Tom Brady, let's go. At least a kiss on the lips. Tommy! If that was Michael Vick, we would have got a couple of fucking jerseys out of it, at least I would think. Huh. Interesting. I, I'm assuming this is a yes, but we've we've done this a couple of times. Have you ever tailgated a sporting event and not gone in? Just going to the tailgate to get tuned up. And when everybody you starts... You know what? I don't think so. Wow, I, okay. I've, I've gone without tickets before. Yeah. And then usually once I get a buzz, I end up scalping a ticket. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever gone. I forget. I, I don't believe so. I did it at Country Fest once, um, like a Kenny Chesney concert at Gillette. Okay. One time I went to that tailgate and didn't go into the concert. But I think I think I've gone into all the sporting events I've gone to. It's always a real sad walk away when everybody's heading into the concert or the for the for the fucking everybody's like high fiving. Can't wait to get a hot dog, and you're like, oh yeah, just waiting for the just get a taxi around. Does the bus run this way? I'm gonna hang out with the skells in the parking lot for a little while. See if I can find a lot lizard over in B4. Oh, uh, once that game starts, man, that place turns into no man's land. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be out there. Holy shit. We used to go to Philly game, Philly's games just for dollar dogs. We wouldn't even watch the game. We would just go in and get the hot dog. We'd go in at the seventh inning, 
just get hot dogs, eat like five hot dogs each, and go back out to the parking lot. Ah, you're fucking trash. <laughs> Real dirtball yeah. shit. I'll tell you what, I don't know what they put in those hot dogs <laughs> down at Citizen Bank Park, but they are fucking delicious. Yeah. Shout out to Hatfield. Keep them coming. <laughs> they are fantastic. Did you say Speak Kenny Chesney? Up, Hold on. Did I hear Kenny Chesney? Kenny Chesney, yeah. Ooh, I nice. give him credit, though, that he didn't go in. He just went out and fucking pulled. A good time. To, when you're in your 20s, a good time's a good time, All regardless right. of what it is. Are you a Kenny Chesney fan? Uh, do you like I, New I Country? Don't, I don't. I do like New Country. Okay. I, I, I like it less than I used to. There was, like, probably in, like, my early to mid-20s, I was a huge New Country guy. Um, I, I, I like it less. I don't really listen to it much anymore. But I, I don't even listen to music anymore. I'm I'm a fan of silence. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny you say that. Um, those are a lot of garbage points, though. You got the fucking Fast and the Furious. You got the New Country, the Gatorade. It's stacking up against you. But yeah. I respect that what you just said because I feel like that too, man. It's like, and I don't know if it's like I get real emotional when I like because I'm a real. I have like a really poppy year. Like I want to hear the hits, and it either like mm-hmm. makes me real yeah. happy, and then uh, there's a drop off after it. Or I'm listening to fucking Otis Redding and I get real fucking sad. I am kind of over. It's called mental illness, fucking wacko. <laughs> Jesus Christ, go talk to somebody. This guy can't make it through a fucking he playlist just said without the same crying. Thing. I like it silent. Yeah, no, he I, said I like, I like silence. You go. I listen to Katy Perry and weep. You <laughs> well, who fucking, huh? you fat dummy. California girl. <laughs> Shout out to Katy. Good luck with the baby. <laughs> Speaking um, of uh, hot dogs, I'm gonna offer up some information that might be. Bad for me. Let's I'm do a ketchup it. on hot dog. You're a ketchup on hot dog guy. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop ketchup on my hot dog, hundred times out of hundred. Now, is that the only condiment that you're putting on it, or you, is that in an array? Uh, it would. Eh, eh, it's usually the only one. But if if I'm at a ball game, say, then I'll fucking load it up because then okay. I'll get I'll get the onions, I'll get the relish, I'll get the mustard, I'll get the ketchup, I do the whole shebang. But if I'm at like a barbecue and that there's not Chopped onions available, just straight cut. Yeah. I take a lot of shit for this, and I'll, I'll share this with you, John, because you're being open and honest. <laughs> my main He likes hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, don't tell nobody. Coming out of his ears. <laughs> no, I'm a, I, I put mayo on my hot dog. <sighs> I'm a big mayo on oh, my hot dog. If, if, if there was mayo available, I'd be 100% in with you. If Thank it, you, you know, buddy. It, 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 get the mayo there. A lot of people are. A lot of people. Uh, the, half the country has a staunch opinion on putting ketchup on a hot dog. I quite frankly don't give a fuck because it's a hot dog. Yeah, whatever. It's like already you're eating like the fucking snout and an asshole. Who cares if you put a little ketchup on it to get it down? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. We'll do it. You know, those food elitists I, can I, fucking I, take a hike. I, I think mayonnaise is an. This again, this might be a garbage take. I think mayonnaise is an incredibly underrated condiment. Yes, I think mayonnaise yeah. should take on everything. <laughs> Yes, it, 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 yo, this guy should be fucking running for mayor of Fall River. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. I like what this kid has to say. Okay. You're absolutely right. And it's fucking very European. And people used to shit on putting fucking their fries in mayo. Now everybody's fucking doing it. No, he's yep. just trying to get on you. Feidelberg's just trying to butter you up with mayo. <laughs> he saw a big man goes, he might take it easy on me if, he, if I start talking about fucking fat condiments. And then next thing you know, oh, this Feidelberg guy should be running for mayor. Now listen, he's on fucking trial here, all right? Are you, are you, a, were you a Hellman's family or were you a Miracle Whip family? Hellman's. Yeah. Like a true fucking yeah, red blooded American. There you go. All Not right. that commie fucking bullshit <laughs> Miracle Whip salad spread, whatever the fuck you're putting on it. Yeah, that stuff stinks. <sighs> mm, okay. <laughs> All right, I think I got a couple more here. Oh, I got one. Um, let's call it. It's a hot summer day, not unlike today. You're standing on the old street corner in New York City, looking for a nice treat, and the ice cream truck pulls up. What do you order, Feidelberg? Choco Taco. Ooh, nice. Fucking classy. <laughs> now, what if that's it's dinner and a dessert? <laughs> what if it's the sub- what if it's not the uh, the suburban? Uh, ice cream truck, but the but the the regular one. If would you get a Mister Softy? What would you do there? If it yeah, was actually soft, you get the soft serve yeah. if you got it. Chocolate vanilla swirl for sure. Yeah, but you a got choco it. taco. There's something about it's the choco tacos and then the um, what are they called? The other things that came in a cone with like the you kind of peel the top off. The drumstick, drumsticks, drumsticks. There's something about I, I guess it's probably just a stale 
<laughs> ice cream yeah. cone. It's not the it's freshness. It's so much better mm-hmm. than a regular one. Yeah. But it's just like, it's like chewy. It's mm-hmm. fucking unbelievable. Yeah. It's not dry. Like the other ones are so dry, I feel. You get a fresh right. one, it's like fucking cardboard. A lot of people <laughs> shit on the Choco Taco, which I don't understand why, because when I was a kid, it's like the Yankees. Like this, it just has like an allure to me. <laughs> Only you could equate the fucking Choco Taco to the Yankees, uh, dude. It was huge. Like I'm older than you guys. I'm 44, so I remember kind of when the Choco Taco started fucking <laughs> popping off. All right, it was always maybe 75 cents more expensive than everything else on the fucking menu. So you seldom got your mom. It's the an fucking... import. It's coming from Mexico. Yeah, you seldom got There's your a tariff mom on it. My mom would never fucking fork over for it, so it became like this lore, this legend, and it had that space-age silver fucking packaging. You had to get your fucking hands on it, and finally when you did, it didn't disappoint because that is like seven layers of fucking deliciousness right there. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't seen someone speak so passionately about something <laughs> in a long time, and I, I respect how much you love the Choco Taco. Dude, Choco Taco. <laughs> I like the way you think, my friend. I'll tell you <laughs> He's that. He's going to be talking about it for the next three hours. You're over know. there. What are, you, what are you getting? A fucking screwball? Huh? No. A fucking ninja screwball. turtle face? No. There's only a handful of acceptable answers. Soft serve. If soft serve is there, you get soft serve. Soft serve is a and, delicacy. And hold on. I'd like to say, unless you're allergic, if you don't get a twist, you're not a fucking gentleman. You get a twist. Mm-hmm. You don't get vanilla. You don't get chocolate. You get a fucking twist. And you don't do the dipping bullshit. You get some sprinkles like a gentleman. No, if you do that, you mean you tell that you're you're spot on. <laughs> Good, spot on. he now, knows uh, his way around an ice cream truck. No, uh, <laughs> what fi- the, a firecracker. If you're if it's July Fourth weekend, you can do a firecracker. You mean the red, white, and blue? Yeah. Oh yeah. Come yeah. on. A chip witch. Of course. Uh, chip witch is great. And a choco taco. Yeah. There's not yeah. much. You know, you can't do the Ninja Turtle. You can't do no. the screwball. You can't do the baseball glove. Those kids. Sometimes, sometimes uh, I get a little fucking. Uh, I'd get a little crazy with it, and I'd go Italian ice sometimes. Ooh, That's respectable. I like yeah. the, I like. You want to sp- let your hair down a little bit, Feidelberg? <laughs> I'm hey, with it. Hey, it's Friday somewhere. Oh, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I also like the snow cone from the from the ice cream no. truck. Even though it takes about three days till you can fucking eat it. It's trash. No, it's okay. No, it's trash. That's fucking, dude, it's like chewing a fucking baseball. And I will say, the baseball glove... That's not that bad. I don't put that in the same category as the SpongeBob SquarePants bullshit. But then you, when you get to the gum, the gum is just like you're just eating a rock. Exactly. I, yeah. I lost multiple teeth due to that fucking yeah. gum. Yeah. You got it as a child because there was gum and it was in the shape of a baseball mitt. That's the only reason yeah. you bought it. You weren't you, you did it because you like baseball. It wasn't a fucking good dessert. <laughs> True. It's bottom of the barrel ice cream trash, okay? Well, we all found common ground in the Choco, <laughs> Choco Taco. Choco Taco's all right. That's what this podcast is I got to be about. honest. I'm an idiot, and for the longest time, I thought there was really taco meat in there. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. I'm not until, like, way too long. Way, way. I remember my buddy got one, and I'm like, dude, you're eating fucking... That's fucking gross, dude. And, like, they thought I was joking about how fucking Frozen stupid. ground beef. Yeah. I got to be honest. It doesn't sound that bad to me. All right. You're losing oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. We're going to let you get out of here in a second. Kippy, you got anything else? What do you got? Uh, I'll do one more because we're in food and let's hit them with the quick, uh, you know, the quick. Uh, Absolutely. The regulars. Um, do you prefer curly fries or waffle fries? And there is an an- there is a correct answer to this. Wait, hold on. Curly. That's not the only option, is it? Between them. Okay. Curly fries or waffle fries? Curly. Oh, 100%. Oh, no. Yikes. No. Take that no? fucking bullshit back to Fall River. Yeah. Now, hold on. I'll give, I'll give you a regional handicap on this. Are the curly fries big up there in Massachusetts? I don't think so. Yeah. I think they're, they're I, I don't see curly fries a lot. I like rarities. I, li- I like things that, that aren't on menus often. That's a little exquisite. I, I'll I'll see that because that's where that's where it comes from, the availability and I feel waffle fries are the less available of the fry, but you think so? I think curly fries. I agree with you. Curly fries would be more rare than a waffle. For there's sure. only one place I know you get a curly fry, and that's fucking Arby's. Yeah, there's one <laughs> place you get waffle fries, and that's Chick Fil A. No, they have waffle <laughs> fries at other places. They have curly the city. fries at other places too. I can't name them. Neither can you. You fucking idiot. <laughs> I can, but you guys might not know them. <laughs> I actually I don't care for French fries in general. To be honest, mm. I'm not I'm not a big French fry guy, which is a crazy stance I know. But if I'll like if I'm going to like a fast food place, I'll get two burgers instead of a burger and fries. 
Hey, I respect that. By all means, do you? That's 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 a okay. I respect that. A burger and chicken that. sandwich, something like that. I think yeah. the fry, the fry doesn't last long. It, it it goes like bad so fast. Yeah, and you can. You you need to eat French fries right away, or else you're fucked. True. Absolutely fucked. So you go. It, it, I think it's gonna happen. I think we're gonna start a revolution here. Get two burgers. Get a burger and a chicken sandwich. Get a burger and a wrap. Maybe if you're McDonald's, get the the little chicken wraps. There's plenty of stuff to do that you don't have to do the French fry. I like it. I, I never agree. thought about it that way. It's pretty fucking solid. I'm sure big potatoes hurting these days with the keto. <laughs> yeah, big potatoes are losing with it. the keto and this and that and the other thing. I'm they actually sure. are. There was like that report uh, that like they're like just throwing out millions of potatoes because fucking restaurants aren't open anymore yeah. so that no one's buying no one's buying french fries yeah so let's keep that energy going let's keep it going let's, down down with the fry let's stay on food here we're gonna hit you with two with the to the are you garbage staples before we let you get out of here um three actually uh number one would be growing up was it customary in your house for the children to drink milk with dinner that's milk with dinner, John. Did you drink milk with dinner? Big milk household. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking Feidelberg. All right. I got this a, kid's all right. I got man. a follow-up. Do you still do it? I don't do it as often anymore, but I, I still like a nice glass of milk. Yeah. I, with I don't dinner? Really keep it <laughs> but I'll, 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 a milk and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, oh, come on. Man. Of course, Ooh. dude. This oh. kid's fucking <laughs> What kind of milk we talk? Whole milk? 2%? 2%. There you go. Middle of the road guy. I you like it. You don't fuck with skim, yeah. do you? No, heavens yeah, no. Yeah, that's Dude, right. Skim is for fucking pussies <laughs> and Europeans. Get out of here. <laughs> Take that shit back to Denmark yeah. or wherever the fuck they got This ain't fucking Paris, all right? <laughs> Hit the bricks. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> Um, next one. It's a big thing here on Are You Garbage? Now, this is a trashy move. We'll see what you, what your family did. Was the butter in the refrigerator or was it left out on the counter? Counter. Woo! Oh, that's no good. He's fucking two for two, just so everybody's <laughs> keeping score. It was in, like, a nice... In the container, of course. Or, yeah. Or whatever. But, like, so the butter, like, if it wasn't the one that was actively being used... It was kept in the fridge. Yeah. Sure. But the one that, like, where it's used, that's the way to do it. If you leave it in the fridge, it's too fucking hard. You can't spread it on anything. You got to let know. the air get to it. It's up a bit. That's my stance is hard. It's trash to keep it on the counter. But the through the fans and all of the guests, I'm being proven that – I'm being told that I'm wrong. So I'm, I have to adjust my stance on the butter in or outside of the fridge, which I'm not happy about, but I'll do it. <laughs> and the last one I wanted to ask you, I'm going to switch it up here. Uh, you could you could do this now. You're you're a young guy. You got your own place. If you have eggs in the house and you make eggs, okay, and you have the carton out, the egg that you cracked, do you put the old shell back in the container and leave it until all the eggs are done, or do you throw each individual shell out as you go? You throw them out individually. That's crazy. <laughs> well, that call the me cart. crazy, John. <laughs> 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 that, that, your eyes started squinting like what the fuck <laughs> that is the non-garbage answer yes. however I fucking put them all in the container I do too it's a garbage move why do you do that <laughs> I'll tell you why because we're fucking Irish trash yeah we're from heathens um, <laughs> we're fucking derelicts no because the my trash can is in, in comparison to, in, in respect to the stove, where you're cracking the egg and putting it on the pan, is on the other side of the kitchen. So you turn around, it like leaks, it causes a mess. So I just started fucking, somebody else showed me that trick too. You just throw them right in there and put it back in. It's, it's not trash. the crazy thing I've heard. I get it. Sure. But also, like I, I've definitely done that before where I put it back in there. But then before I put that back in the fridge, I go over to the trash and just drop them in. That's very respectable, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, good. on the other hand, am garbaggio. Unfortunately, I don't think the eggs are going to save you <laughs> in the court of public opinion. Uh, Kevin, what is your uh, what are your thoughts on, on this If gentleman? I had to put a number on it, I would say like 68% garbage. He's got some good stock. I'm sure his parents are good. They mm -hmm. got the detached garage, which is fucking clean living. Right. 
But then you got the fucking purple beer, the fucking Fast and the Furious catalog, the condoms, the condoms, the, the water, the, the pee in the bed. That's a that's a lot of fucking blemishes in the file. The don't pee look, in the bed was a tough one. That that's was tough that to come was back to. But yeah. don't look at garbage as a bad thing. Garbage is a great thing. That means you're a fucking solid salt of the earth person. And I got to tell you, even though it's a garbage move, you really did a number on me with the fucking pouring the bottle of water to cover up the pee. I fucking <laughs> give you a lot of... That is fucking... That's I'm telling everybody... Diabolical. I'm telling all my little cousins who still pee to bed, I'm telling everybody to pull a fucking Feidelberg the next time they, <laughs> the next time they went to bed. <laughs> I'll sit him down and tell the story. Hey, there's a guy out there named John Feidelberg who told me this story. <laughs> it might save your life one day, kid. Good stuff. John, thank you so much for sitting with us. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Kippy. 70, 80% garbage, but the best kind of garbage there is. We had such yeah, a good I'll time with you. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm solid being 68 to 80. That works yeah. for me. There it's, you go. It's, and I'll be honest. It's shockingly accurate. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's pretty spot on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. John, anything you want the folks out there to know? Anything you got coming up? No, nothing at all. <laughs> Just KFC Radio? It's KFC Radio, yeah. You got it, brother. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Kippy. What do you got the folks out there need to know? Again, just iTunes, rate, review, subscribe. YouTube, you can subscribe as well. And Gas Digital Network to get all uh, the full uh, catalog of shows. So yes. check it out. Gang, we have a lot of um, extra content that we're going to be putting out there. We want you guys to be all to be a part of it. Keep those numbers going up on... Um, on YouTube, subscribe on iTunes, just like Kevin said. Thank you to everybody out there in the live chat for sitting in with us. Uh, Dylan, our producer. Joey the Irish, our intern. Joey, thank you. And John yeah, Funnelberg, fucking awesome, buddy. Appreciate thank you so it, much dude. for tuning in and being with us, man. Thank you very much for having me, guys. I appreciate you. You got it, brother. All Be right, safe. Buddy. Later. Guys, we Peace. will see you next week. Thank you. Peace.